Folks, welcome back to The Bridal Show, and we're happy to be here today with Jenny Pennington of Pennington's Petals. And you can definitely tell what line of work she's in by these wonderful creations you got here. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Now, tell us about uh, Pennington's Petals. Pennington's Petals started about four years ago after I graduated from Western Kentucky University. I majored in horticulture, emphasis in floral design with a minor in marketing. Out of uh, the different visions that brides have, are there usually two or three maybe trends here lately over the last few months that, that they typically this like? This year, especially this year, has been um, big blue. Like everybody wants a UK wedding this year. And so I'm seeing lots of whites and blues, brides wanting to do white and blue everything. Uh, so I've already done about three weddings this year just in since March <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> for UK uh, so that's been really it's been really great uh, submerged flowers we you have a container and all your flowers are just submerged underwater and kind of sunk into the bottom uh, that's a big trend this year as well okay on the UK flowers um, what type of flowers uh, of course I can think of a lot of white flowers what blue. are the blue ones yeah <laughs> blue um, lots of delphinium um, it, it's on a longer string of flower. It's a longer. It's on a longer stem. I'm sorry, and smaller flowers. Uh, blue hydrangea as well. There's not very many blue. Uh, if you want to get more natural thistle and stuff like that's blue, and uh, you can also spray paint them. Really, there's a florist paint out there, and it's a florist spray paint, and you can spray paint the flowers. And I've uh, bought the blue flowers and bought like a UK blue. Uh, florist spray and actually sprayed them to just to bring out the blue color a little better Great. and it doesn't seep it doesn't get on your wedding dress it's non-toxic <laughs> all that kind of good stuff so they won't get poisoned on the right wedding. so they won't get poisoned it won't bleed out into anybody's dress it's dry and you can't even tell that they've really even been painted like i, I had one bride uh, that really loved tiffany's blue and there's no teal Robin's egg blue flowers out there at all, unless they're artificially colored. Okay. So I did, I got some uh, flora spray and I sprayed them all and she'd never been happier. Wow. Absolutely adored her teal flowers. Yeah. <laughs> and what, what flowers do you use for the white ones when you do the blue and white arrangements? Lots of hydrangea. The, um, hydrangeas and are just a classic big flower that go really well in any type of bridal bouquet. Um, roses, of course, are always a classic as well. Uh, lots of brides um, love the hydrangea, though. It's a very wedding-esque flower. Experience the best Chinese food in Lexington at Happy Panda. Located off Leastown Road in Tally Center, Happy Panda features a large menu for both dining and carry out. We have over 30 lunch special items under $6, as well as combination platters priced under $8. Your next delicious meal is just a phone call away. Call us today at 859-388-9996. Happy Panda, the best Chinese food, fast.
tell me a little bit about what we've got here. We're going to talk about all three of these arrangements. What do we have here? We've got on a this few things one? here. Um, this is would be maybe like a small centerpiece, something that if you had a um, stand set up maybe at your um, sign, at your guest book, this would maybe just be sitting in front of the book so that your guests could sign. Um, the, just a very small centerpiece, maybe at a six or eight person round table would fit here well. Okay, and what kind of flowers are these? These are spider mums. Oh, okay. I won't get bit if I touch them. Anymore. No, okay. not at all. all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So and they yeah. come in a variety of colors. These you see yeah. a lot. Um, you could get them in very bright, vibrant colors as well. These are spider mums as well. All right, so these are spider mums, and then are these roses that are with those? Or? Yes, these are spider mums that are with the roses. This is maybe like a larger centerpiece that you may have at, um, at maybe your DJ table at the top of it, or maybe at a corner or something like that. Um, this one here particularly is just viewed from one side, so it's just viewed from the front, but lots of arrangements you want to view from 360 degrees so that everybody around the table can get a good view of an arrangement, not just the front. Great. Uh, I see the, a lot. A big trend this year is kind of, it's the mason jars, uh, and uh, we've, I've got just a little tight accent of raffia here. But these, yeah, just spider mums and roses. Oh, yeah. Something very simple. When I saw the mason jar and, and the clear liquid, I was getting excited. I thought we were going to do a couple of shots before the yeah. segment, but uh, no moonshine yeah. holding up the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and uh, yeah, so in many of the designs, you take into account uh, not only the flowers, but the receptacle that they're in, uh, yes. things, things like this too. Yes, because the feel, you, you want, if you, if you have a um, specific look that you're wanting to go for through, throughout your wedding, you want it to be expanded throughout the entirety. So mm -hmm. if you are, if your theme is more country and stuff like that, you want to take that not only from the church that you're getting married in, but the reception where everybody's going to be dancing and laughing and, and having fun and things like that. So Great. you want it to, you want every aspect tied out in throughout your, your wedding. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Okay. And then what's this other one? That's gorgeous right over here. Thank you. Let's get it out. Okay. This is just a hand tied bouquet with, I just tied it with some orange here, but um, this is just a hand tied bouquet, really springy summary of um, just roses, just three different colors of roses and then it's hand tied and. Great, that's gorgeous. At a lot of the weddings we're at, we see a lot of just plain white bouquets and it's kind of nice seeing uh, yeah. some more color in there. A, a, um, something that I've seen a lot lately too is that brides are wanting their bridesmaids to wear the white bouquets and have them have the pop of color. Yeah. So that, um, and they may have like a little bit of white or something like that in their bouquet, but they really mostly, um, I see the reversal. Like if their bridesmaids are wearing um, pink or coral kind of dresses, the bride will want that color bouquet and have all the bridesmaids have the more white and stuff. It looks very classy in pictures. Great, and in general, whatever the color of the bridesmaids dresses and the color of everything, you're gonna have that represented in the flowers at least somewhere. Right, right, yeah, and it all goes back to kind of like the elementary color wheel. You either want to do something similar or the same kind of color, or you want to go the exact opposite. So that's what I kind of did in pairing these colors. They're so vibrant, so you want to kind of go with the exact opposite or stay within that same color range. All right, yeah, and out of some of the recent weddings you've done, um, what are one or two interesting stories or favorite weddings that you've done? I know they're probably all your favorites. But I do, I, I love them. I love when um, brides have pictures that they want me, that they, it's like their dream wedding, and they bring them to me and say, oh my gosh, if you could just do this, it would make my day, because I just love when I bring an arrangement to a bride or to that customer or client and their eyes just light up, I just know that I've done a great job. Yeah. <laughs> um, but my favorite uh, would probably have to be when I went to Paducah and did one of my best friend's weddings for her wedding. Yeah, for her wedding. Okay. <laughs> and um, she did hot pink roses, white mini roses, because they can come in little blooms. Okay. And then, uh, so it's a hot pink, lime green, and white. And at the very last minute, she said, can you decorate our cake with, the, with whatever flowers you have left over? And I was like, oh my gosh, I've never decorated a cake before. <laughs> and I did, and she loved it. It was a tiered cake, and um, it, was my, it was probably my favorite. She was the most fun to work with, very easy going, and um, 
It was just a delight. Well, and is it true, do you have a, around six weddings in July and August coming up here? I do, I do. I've got several throughout July, and um, luckily my husband works at Toyota and can help me on shutdown week. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do, I've got like three in July and about three in August coming up, so I'm very, very excited about those. Great. And uh, if somebody wants to get in contact with you, what are the ways to get in contact with you? I have um, my personal Facebook page under Jennifer Pennington, and then I've got a um, Pennington's Pedals Facebook page as well. Um, the blog spot is linked onto our Facebook page, and all of my contact information is on there as well. Great. Okay. With your cell phone and everything, mm -hmm. and people can send you a Facebook message or email you as well. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Well, great. Well, we appreciate you spending time with us today, and thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Great, and we'll be right back. Hello, and welcome to LexPond. LexPond is the only online coupon company that is devoted to its customers in Lexington as well as Central Kentucky. We have amazing deals on everything that you need as well as everything that you want. Look, we're all looking for ways to save money. Why not stretch your dollars with LexPond? Just sign up below and start receiving your daily deals. It's time to save some serious money. So what are you waiting for? to LexPond. LexPond is the only online coupon company that is devoted to its customers in Lexington as well as Central Kentucky. We have amazing deals on everything that you need as well as everything that you want. Look, we're all looking for ways to save money. Why not stretch your dollars with LexPond? Just sign up below and start receiving your daily deals. It's time to save some serious money. So what are you waiting for? Welcome to Fairy House Hall. Welcome back to the Bridal Show. We are in such a lovely room right now. Could you tell me a little bit about this space? Well, this is our bridal suite. Um, this is where the, the bride and groom would stay um, when they're here with their family for the weekend. Okay. Um, and it was done and obviously in the French style. And if you're not the religious sort, um, you can still appreciate the copy of a Botticelli anyway. Um, so I, I did this room up um, trying to stay as conservative as possible, but still make people feel like they were somewhere other than Kentucky. Yes, I mean, it is incredibly open. And even right now we have windows open with just the birds chirping and a lovely breeze flowing through. It's really nice. And it was deliberately designed as a bump out. Mm -hmm. um, the bump out, we're on top of the kitchen right now. Oh, okay. And, and that bump out creates the natural light. 
um, for the kitchen, and it, it gives one, I feel like you're on the bow of the ship almost. Mm -hmm. So when you wake up in the morning here, you can see uh -huh. the entire farm. That's wonderful. And who is this lovely lady? This is the farm mascot. This is Gigi. Gigi. And um, and, and she's a she's a constant constant companion to all of us. She's very sweet. She greeted us very warmly when we came in. Those little spots. We get good great satisfaction out of making people happy and get what they pay for. When people come here, and this is no lie, I greet them at that door, I give them the, the riot act, straight away. Because I'm Irish, I can get away with it and I got an accent. <laughs> so I'm told, if I could bottle it, I could probably sell it and make a fortune, not in the smell of horses. <laughs> so I read them the riot act. They're all great because they've just landed, that's the best time to get them because their adrenaline's going, they go, oh, I can't believe this place, this is wonderful. Because they're all happy, so I'll get them when they're happy, and I'll take them down a peg. Give me go, a sample of that, what's it, what's it like? Well, I suppose uh, when they come in the door, a sample of that would be, you're not getting any keys, and here's the reason why you're not getting any keys to the house. There are too many of you, and, I, and I, I, people end up losing them. So I'm here on site all the time, and then your stuff comes in here, I don't care if you've got 10 bars, bullion bars of gold, no one will touch it. So don't be worrying about keys, and don't be worrying about openers for the gates, because the gate will be open, but I'll be here. No one comes on this property without me knowing about it. And outside you have a garden, a really beautiful garden we saw when we pulled up. Yes, yes. Uh, Shane and I are both master gardeners. We put in the formal garden from scratch, uh -huh. and we have a dry stack limestone wall around it. Um, so we also tried to do a traditional garden. Um, and the back of the house is laid out in, a, in, the, in British style where there's a T you know, cathedrals and gardens okay. are all laid mm -hmm. out in the tea. So um, the gardens, um, and it's all work in progress, mm -hmm. um, but it is laid out in the traditional Georgian way that you'd lay a garden. And if folks want to reach you in order to talk about uh, renting the facility, how do they do that? Well, we have a website, fairyhousehall.com. Okay. Just the name of the, of, the, of the estate, and they can contact us directly because we are um, a private estate and we just deal with everyone one-on-one. -on -one. That's great, wonderful service. All right, thanks, and we'll be right back. Finally, a television show for brides in the bluegrass. Now that you're engaged, it's time to begin the process of planning your wedding, and that's where we come in. Each episode of The Bridal Show features the very best local wedding professionals, including interviews and interactive demonstrations of the services they offer. Our show is a wonderful way to see the latest fashions and make the process of planning your special day much easier. The Bridal Show. Only on WTVQ, Channel 36. Folks, welcome back to the bridal show. And now I'm here in the kitchen here at the Ferry House Hall. And I've heard so much about the chef here, but I haven't had a chance to meet him yet. I actually wonder who could the chef be here? Uh, hopefully he'll show up and maybe we'll shed some light on that mystery. Uh, here he's a man. Oh, hey, it's Shane. I'm the man wearing two hats. Uh, this is he's... my second one. Yeah. Shane, you are a man of many hats. Uh -huh. and. Uh, I'm excited to see all of the amazing things that you have out here. Uh, 
as you're getting into the chef's outfit. That's right, it saves all your clothes underneath it. Great. There's a reason for it. I imagine. And I believe that a, a French chef invented it, wow. the white coat. <laughs> so it goes back to the French again. Great, and this right. is an Italian that's chef the second, yeah, I believe this belonged once to Chef Boyardee, is that No, correct? not quite, but it's, it's kind of like it. Okay. No, we got that, uh, my, my wife got that somewhere, I can't remember where it was, but it works. Wow. A lot of um, um, artisan bread uh, bakers will wear that. Oh, okay. This that too. And it's the most comfortable for me while I put it on. So, okay. what I want to tell you about this. Okay. This is a uh, quiche. And it's an Australian quiche. And the great thing about this is that um, it's a uh, cell, it crusts itself. So in other words, what you do basically is you put the flour in along with it. It's called self-rising flour. Oh, okay. And you put it in it. And when you do that, you mix, you mix it up and put it in the little dishes like this, individuals. You could freeze those if you wanted to and come back in three or four days time and have another one. Or if the daughter's going to school or something, slip one in and she can heat it at school and eat it. Great. And the other great thing about it is, apart from all the different colors, it's got the bit of spinach in it, peppers, egg, corn, and onion. And the onion is shallot, which is the one you can almost eat like a candy. Oh, wow. Well. The, um, when I was in Australia, there was a, um, a large horse station and it might cover 20,000 acres and they were all wild horses. Must, well they weren't quite mustangs, they were bred but they were thrown out on this land. It's not, it wouldn't be like here where you have a farm and clothes and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we'd have uh, 20 or 30 riders, outriders, go get uh, the yellow tied horses, bring them all back. Now you're talking about 10 hours ride away uh -huh. to get them. So what you had, this, this station in particular was, is an Australian dish because they made this up for their meal for breakfast. Well, I can understand. I've met quite a few Australian fillies in my day, and every <laughs> one of them have been really hard to tame. Too. I got you, yeah, absolutely. And the other thing, too, is this is so easy to make. I mean, yeah. you don't need to be a brain surgeon to make this stuff. I'm, when I show you what it is, a lot of people will be doing this. And this dish has this fats and its proteins in it because of the eggs. And then you've got your veggies. It's almost like a little uh, stew, you know, a little mix up of stuff, but yeah. it's beautiful. And but it says you're going to taste it later, anyway. Great. But let yeah. me show you. Oh, by the way, did you get my back here? All What's right. this? Says he. Life is too important to be taken seriously. That's Oscar Wilde. There you go. Wise? See, that's a nice little touch for you. Wow. Wise that's words. Words to live by, folks. <laughs> so I made some, some up earlier, right? Okay. In me bowl. I was looking in the fridge earlier. I thought that was egg drop soup. Yeah, not that's quite. Fun. No. Okay. So I have uh, basically what you do is you take the egg, your parsley, your chopped up onion, your salt and your pepper, your oil and your milk. And you put it in a bowl. We would put it in a big vat. We would make a huge big vat of it and then pour them into small bowls to make them and then put them in the uh, gas oven that we had on the back of the truck. Okay. So we would make them ahead of time, obviously, with this one. So it's very simple. You throw them all in together, you blend it. You don't go whoosh, 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 and swivel it around, you break it all down and, and make a mess of it. So you just blend it around. And that's basically how it turns out. Just like that. Great. And then what you do is you take it very simply and you pour it into a dish, just like that. Well, that is easy. For the camera's sake, I wouldn't leave all that in there, but I am now because of the time and <laughs> so on and so forth. Sure. So that's waste. So I have it in the dish. And then what you do is you take corn, spinach, and pepper. And that's all that is. Fantastic. And so then I'll just take those good foods and press them down into this. Put them all in there like that, you see? Okay. All right. And you did wash your hands, didn't you? Oh, I did indeed, of okay. course. Yes, I have a certificate to prove it. <laughs> Look, see? And I throw them in like that and then arrange them. Look at the colors in that. Look. That's great. You could present that at any party. And basically, you take that and you put it in an oven and you cook it in the oven for about 45, 50 minutes. Okay. You're done. Now you're feeding four or five people. That's fantastic. With a little bit of salad, spinach, a couple of cherry tomatoes, a little bit of raspberry vinaigrette, and you have a meal and I have the crusty bread in the oven. Wow. And you have yourself a meal. One of the important things this we, I wanted to talk about was the eggs. Mm -hmm. So if we get a, get a look at these eggs over here. 
These are not your store-bought eggs. These are eggs that are uh, from chickens in the back gardens of people's homes. And there's lots of them in Kentucky. You are so excited about cooking. Is this one of your, always been a lifelong passion of yours? Not lifelong. I've always been a foodie anyway. Mm -hmm. We ate well at home. We had the best beef in the world in Ireland for years and years and years because we have the best grass because it rains all the time. Okay. But then you want to get out of there because of all the rain and look from it at afar and go, hey. <laughs> but uh, yes, um, I've always been into the food. And then when I met the wife and we got married, we talked, we loved food. Fantastic. So we're happy well, with it anyway. Yeah, well, I look forward to trying some of this stuff, uh, which we are going to do very, very shortly. Folks, we'll be back in just a minute. We're going to try some of Shane's creations. Folks, we're back, and uh, Shane, tell us what we have here. Well, we have champagne, Spanish, mm. pineapple juice, wow. and this is a signature drink. We mix, obviously, the champagne, almost like a mimosa, but with uh, pineapple juice. Okay. And when I was in Greece, I used to live in a cave with a lot of other guys. I thought you lived in a cave with other <laughs> men. You're funny. Yeah. Now, <laughs> Knew that when I first saw you, there's a cave dweller. To you and to Heather and everyone here. At Thank you. Awesome. Appreciate it. Great. Cheers.